Welcome back everybody, this is Always back with the next video of Bootstrap Essential Training Series. So in this video we are going to learn about forms available in Bootstrap. Now if you're designing your HTML document or a web page, you need a form. So if you're designing a form, it's a good idea to use the Bootstrap form because it's got really nice classes which will help you to design your form very easily. Now I have this Jumbotron here inside that I have a container. So first of all, let's design a form without Bootstrap and then we will add Bootstrap classes which are form control class which goes to 100% width and we have this form group class. So we'll look at these, how to use them and what it can help us to achieve with the forms in HTML document. Now, with the start, we are going to start with a label tag. So let's just add a label for, let's just say, input email. And then we can just email, close the label, come down to the next line. Let's just input tag. And input is going to be type, email. And then after that, we'll add the class. But for now, just do that without bootstrap. I'm just going to add the ID as well. Let's just say input email ID and then we are going to close this. We can actually add a placeholder as well for that. So let's just type email. This is just a placeholder. And uh, next we are going to add another label which is going to be for password. So let's just say input password and then let's just type password here. Let's come down, input, oops, we need to open this with a tag, so input, type, password, ID, we can just say input, password, and then after we just add a placeholder as well, password, okay, let's save the file, I'm just going to open that into a browser, and right now you can see our form is pretty ugly, I'm actually going to bring this here, and let's just increase the browser width. As you can see, it's pretty ugly. It's just not responsive at all. And uh, yeah, we can fix that with the bootstrap classes and those are really helpful. I'm just gonna put that here. We're gonna add a few more things here. Let's just add another label first. So label for, we can just call it file input. Let's just say input file. And then we can just say file input close the label open input tag type file and then we can just give id input file let's just add a placeholder as well so we would say file input let's save it and let's refresh the page and we have this file input label and then we have this button here which will help us to upload the file we can add a few more elements such as checkboxes or ready buttons, but uh, we'll look at them in a second. But first, let's design our form. Now, with the help of Bootstrap, we can style our forms. Right now, I can't click on any of the label, but uh, on the mobile devices, it's a good idea to add Bootstrap because once you click on or tap on a label, which will activate the input field for that. So now we can add a class called form control now with the input label we are going to add a class here so let's type class and i'm going to name it form control and it form control class makes the input field to the 100 percent of the width of your container so i'm using a jumbotron which basically inside inside the jumbotron there's a container and that's why we're going to have this input field goes all the way to our width but you can use the grid system to uh, make the space less or middle or you know half of your page, whatever you want to do. And then we can add the same class here. Let's just say form control, save it. And for the input, we can add the class form dash control. Save it. And now I'm going to refresh the page and there we go. So this actually didn't work. I just want to check I need to delete this and after the type class and inside the class we just say form 
control let's save it and it should work this time okay so there's not a problem with this this problem here up on the top so we forgot to add a t there that's why it didn't work so refresh it and now as you can see that if i just expand the browser size our forms are responsive by just adding those classes so form control so these are the responsive form now now if i click on this as you can see it's a nice uh the blue line around it it's like a kind of animation so it's kind of nice so these are the responsive form elements you can add and one more thing i can show you here there's a class in bootstrap cla called form group so you can add different elements into a group which will add a spacing so right now you can see that we have a little bit of spacing problem with the password field and an input label so we can fix that by adding a div and add a class to it which is going to be form group class so let's do that inside our container i'm going to open another div tag add a class of form group okay and then we can close this div tag after our password field so i'm going to make a space here and close this let's save the file and pay attention here it's going to add a little bit of spacing here so let's refresh it and there you go so these are two groups of these two fields and our labels and then we have a little bit of spacing between the password field and a file input now the next thing we're going to learn is form inline we have a classes available in bootstrap which will help us to create a form which are going to be inline but first let's just modify this code here i'm actually going to change this uh, div to and i'm going to close this just uh let's just cut it i just need to cut this div and after the email i'm going to paste it let's save it and then we're going to add another div here class and i'm going to type form group so we are separating the group so email text a label and a field will be a group and then password and a password field would be a group as well so we can just finish this and let's just come down here and close the div tag here and for the file as well we are going to open a div so class is going to be form group so you can group those elements such as label and a field of your form now i'm gonna close this save it and now let's refresh the page and now we can have a nice spacing between password and the email field as well and a file input between password field now the next thing we are going to do is we're going to make this form inline okay so right now these are not inline forms sometimes you have to add an inline form which goes to the the full width of your page so let's do that now we are going to add a form tag on the top of our container so let's add a form and then after our just before our container div ends i'm going to add and close this form tag let's save it now bootstrap knows our html a browser knows that this is just a form okay so as you can see it's not it's got nice spacing nice padding as well so now let's make that inline now to make this form inline you simply have to add a class called form inline so after your opening a form tag let's type class type form dash inline let's save it refresh the page and i'm going to bring the page here and now as you can see we got the form in line nicely done nicely padding and pretty much it's ready now we can style our form such as the color and uh, of our labels and stuff like that with our own css but what it's doing basically it's making your form responsive so if i just go down like i will change my browser size as you can see that it's completely responsive okay the next step we are going to learn in bootstrap is basically horizontal forms now with the horizontal form if you add a class here let's just add instead of inline we can add this horizontal class let's save it i hope i spelled it right h-o-r-i-z-o-n-t-l 
Now refresh the page and now as you can see the different change and we can just expand this and now as you can see we have the horizontal so label and the password goes from the starting of the container and then the form field goes expanded. Now we can change this to undo. Let's save it and you can see the difference now. So let's just uh, let's refresh the page and you can see it's inline and if I just change this now we have a little bit more padding than the horizontal form let's just change this to horizontal again and redo this let's try reading no it opened the it actually opened the terminal a debug console I'm just gonna close this horizontal save it let's look at it now I'm gonna refresh it and pay and pay attention here it's gonna add less spacing now let's refresh it and there you go so you see that we got less spacing let's padding uh, in our jumbotron now all right so you can inspect this element by right clicking and click on inspect and look at our page as mobile site and I'm gonna increase the size here and as you can see it's totally responsive so that is the benefit of using uh, bootstrap form fields which makes your form responsive and you don't have to work a lot to make them responsive manually with your CSS. Alright, so that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Chase.